One of the advantages of developing a 3D model is to improve the project delivery. Now, what a better way to improve that is cutting automatic sheets that we still need to submit. These sheets are being cut at a particular station or maybe at a particular structural element on the bridge, the abutment appear line. As the sheet is being cut, it's just not a static drawing, but actually a dynamic one because all of this line work is being referenced from the 3D model, following the user or the organization's CADA standards regarding the sheet size, regarding the, the scales that he needs. But not only the line work itself, but as well as the dimensions associated with it, the way it's being represented, the way it's being dimensioned itself. So that sheets being generated then are done just one time. Because, as I said, as the structure changes, the line work on the sheets, as being referenced, just changes it automatically. Now, what about if we need to create plan and profile sheets? So then we need more information. We need to reference the roadway geometry, the alignment, the profile, and cut sheets, plan elevation, cut sheets along the plan view and also along the profile view. Maybe both of them with a different scale but being referenced on the same sheet. Then the software will do a 3D cut along the profile. So my bridge gets truly represented along the profile view. So reading the alignment, I can define the number of sheets that I need at the scale that I need, maybe just covering the bridge length. And the same I will need to do with the profile. Now, if any changes happen along the alignment or along the profile, then the bridge is just automatically referenced and placed against the new alignment and the new profile. Therefore, reducing the time on the sheet generation and the sheet annotation as well, really improving the project delivery time.